insane. It really is. It's insanity. And that is the brains, you know, who's sitting in a room <clears throat> somewhere in Albany telling us what's good for us, like we don't know, they know, is that they're going to direct the traffic into the service road. <clears throat> the service road, meaning someone coming from down there who wants to make a turn at J will have to turn at L, not at K because you can't turn. All the traffic will be moved into the service road. You all know what that means. It's, people in Albany don't know what that means. You're, you're talking about school buses, forget about the traffic being able to move. You're talking about sanitation, forget it. You're talking about a car trying to park or leave a space. Automatic gridlock danger. This is about the safety of our kids, our senior citizens, and our community. That's what this issue is all about. Makes no sense. And by the way, here's another piece you might not be aware of. And this is really brilliant. People on the service road who find themselves on the service road going down. Listen, you got to hear this. this you got to hear the insanity. Avenue C, if you're on the service road, north or south, C, Cortelia, Ditmas, 18th Avenue, I, J, P, Kings Highway. Guess what? No left turn. You won't be able to go towards Ocean Parkway. Can you imagine the gridlock that's going to be caused on these streets? I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that this is not the smartest thing in the world, that this makes no sense. I'm calling on the governor to stop the madness. Stop the insanity. Stop the madness. Sit down. No more, no turns. No more, no turns. No more, no turns. No more, no turns. I made it very clear five months ago this was a mistake. And they had conversations with me, but they did not take it seriously. I know that. And I told the governor's people yesterday, last night, I said, I'm not interested in meeting with the commissioner. He didn't have time to meet with me all of these months. I want the governor who cares, who cares about our community, and we supported him. I'm asking him, stop this. Don't take those garbage bags off those lights. Don't take them off. Let's sit down and let's deal with these issues that affect our community. I love rallies. <laughs> I do. And I love a good fight. And there's no one better on your side than Assemblymember Dove Hiking. Give it up. And that is something we have to work on. So I will work with you. So I will work with you, march with you, do the numbers with you to make sure that we have responsible change. And that is why we're here today. No more, no no more, no we just want to make it very clear because I know the governor's people are listening. They're here. We're not stopping. We want to work with the governor. We respect the governor. We know the governor cares about the safety of our community. So we hope that within days we'll be able to sit, stop this, have discussions, but we're not stopping. We are not stopping. There are a lot of things I'm planning, and I hope I don't have to do any of them. I drive from that building down to L three times a day. Did Albany forget that service lanes are for service and not for a flow of traffic? We drive down these lanes every day. Sanitation trucks, UPS trucks, FedEx trucks, deliveries. We have to put up with that now enough that's understandable. It's a service lane. 
but to direct traffic in there, this will create havoc and a tremendous danger to our community. Because if the state truly cares about Ocean Parkway and about our roads and streets here, then let them do something about all the potholes on Ocean Parkway. Let them do something about the benches along Ocean Parkway. Let them do something about the pedestrian paths and the bike paths and the service paths. Let them fix the potholes. That's my message to the state. And this concept of Vision Zero should not mean zero common sense. Yeah. It shouldn't mean zero input from people. Can the state produce one letter, one letter from any elected official in this area requesting such senseless ideas? We are here today with a very simple message, and I'll be brief. The days of top-down government are over. <laughs> I think we ask uh, on behalf of the community board and the community uh, when they when the state DOT came to us in June of 2014 uh, they left out most of what you're seeing today and if you're gonna spend millions of dollars please get it right. right come back to us tell us open on the table all the details get it right and get it what's important and safe to the people for 30 years the community has been asking for left turn signals yeah. when you're coming Bay well, Parkway. Obviously that makes a lot of sense. The funny thing is they're doing things that make no sense and things we've asked for that will make things better because we know we live here that they haven't even looked at. We beg them for certain things that will make things better. And I, and I live here 25 years. I drive these streets every single day. Whether it's J, whether it's uh, M, whether it's P. I know the streets. When I saw these no right turns, I said, and they've given out what brilliant person thought this up? And then when I saw <coughs> when they sent the traffic into the service roads, I said, this is insane. Absolutely insane.